Rumour has it that the late Queen threw Meghan out of the country. According to a screenshot on Markle News' Instagram, a source claimed the Queen threw Meghan Markle out of the country after multiple offences. The screenshot read, The person relaying the information says they got it from a poster on Reddit or somewhere like that. Allegedly, Meghan Markle was scheduled to make an appearance as part of a work. She refused. The Queen's aides informed the Queen. She sent for Meghan Markle for a meeting. Meghan Markle refused, said she had a prior engagement. This was after she'd been busted by Prince William taking photos of Charlotte whilst she was sleeping in a bedroom. After Catherine had reported jewellery missing, the vendors were still sending her expensive gowns as gifts, etc. So Meghan Markle was on shaky ground already. Queen Elizabeth's aide found out that Meghan Markle was headed to a meeting. They contacted the meeting host and cancelled the meeting, by order of the Queen. Meghan Markle showed up, no one was there to meet with her, and she threw a tantrum. Queen Elizabeth's security people were there and escorted her to a waiting car. She pitched a fit. Take your hands off me, I'm the Duchess, and more. They ignored her, stuck her in the car. Inside were Edward and Sophie, with Meghan's luggage in the trunk. Queen Elizabeth had sent aides to Frogmore, who packed her bags. That's why she left a diary at Frogmore Cottage, because she didn't pack her own things. Edward and Sophie's drivers drove them straight to RAF Norfolk, where a plane was waiting. They loaded her on it, Edward and Sophie escorted her onto the plane, settled her in, left her there and they flew her to Canada. That's what Harry wants an apology for. They called the Sandringham Summit. Remember how it was scheduled for several weeks later, but Harry wanted to move it up. That's why Harry was on his own. Queen Elizabeth had flown her to Canada. According to Diana Eppers on Cora, there's a photo showing Meghan Markle being formally escorted from a theatre in London where she thought she had a meeting set up. Queen Elizabeth wanted to meet with Miss Meghan to discuss matters on the 8th of January 2020. But Meghan told Her Majesty that she couldn't possibly meet with her. Meghan already had her own meeting scheduled. Queen Elizabeth cancelled the theatre meeting and Meghan showed up not knowing this. Meghan long thought the late Queen was an old lady to be ignored, not to be obeyed. Meghan thought that she could handle the Queen. Well, Meghan was taken to the airport along with two bags of clothes and items taken from Frogmore Cottage. Which is why a diary remained at Frogmore, since it wasn't packed for her. The Royal Protectors took Meghan on board an airplane, where Stern, Sophie the Countess of Wessex and Prince Edward were waiting. They remained with Markle until she departed the UK for Canada. This occurred on the day before Meghan and Harry sent out their statement via Instagram that they were stepping back from royal duties. All this said without consulting the Queen, who would decide all matters. Meghan never wanted to give Queen Elizabeth any respect, so the late Queen bundled the upstart and sent her away. We couldn't independently verify the rumours, however some royal fans believe it, with one commenting, I live in Norfolk and RAF Marham is used a lot by the royals, but there was talk that Meghan Markle was delivered there, as I know someone who works at Sandringham, so yeah, I believe it. And let's face it, our dear Queen would never have anyone mess with the crown.